Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Genesis. Today, we're going to be doing a little bit of work here in base. So the main thing that we're missing here, I mean, we kind of got all of our stuff. We're missing an industrial cooker and we're missing some storage. Something a little bit better <laughs> than those little tables. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to head over to Lost Island. going to grab our tech replicator, bring it over here. We're going to grab, well, maybe we don't need a tech re replicator. Maybe we'll make everything over there. That way we still have it there. That is our main base. But we'll get some of our storage made. We need to get the intake made, get our cooker made. And I think that's about it. The cooker is going to help us out with making medical brew here. And then also some dyes, things like that. And I was thinking about putting up the dino storage over here. Something out there just to help out with, you know, making this look not so plain. But I think we're not going to just leave it for right now. That's something I haven't got a design down that I really want to do. So I think for right now, we'll leave it. But we'll just grab those couple things that we need and then head back here, get it set up. We are almost done here on this map, believe it or not. We've got a couple creatures left to tame. And then we'll probably try the boss. I'm not too sure. I'm not doing any of the missions. So we won't do those, but maybe we'll just go ahead and bring our tech wrecks over and try to do Rockwell that way, if we can. I'm not too sure. I got to look up what the boss fight is like on this map. So let's leave all that. Oh yeah, and I want to get a tech, a tech bed made to put in here. Dude, it's like my only bed is over there at, over at the bog. <laughs> so every time I change maps and come back here, I have to go to there, teleport back here. It's, it's a whole ordeal, man. Anyways, I will see you on Lost Island. Well, it's definitely nice not being in space for a little bit. Back on the beaches. <laughs> Something else we need to, I forgot, is to make a little bit more kibble. Let's start off with the kibble. We'll grab our clothes first, of course. But we'll head down, grab some eggs. I'm not too sure how the UDs are doing over there for egg production. Uh, maybe it's full. It looks like there's a bunch of eggs out. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's, <laughs> let's grab our clothes and head over. We, we might have a slight issue down there. Take all of you. I'll take some water. I think that's kind of all that we need. We'll take that as well. That should be good. Like I said, we're not going to be here for very long today. Hopefully. Oh, dude, I'm, uh, hopefully we won't. Let's take the Ketzel down. I think we're kind of full on eggs. And if so, it's going to be extremely heavy. Oh, man, I forgot to turn off mating on these guys. Look at all those eggs over there. Holy crap, dude. Well, we got enough for kibble, as long as we have enough of everything else. All right, all right, all right. Oh, man, we got something that's tried to hatch. <laughs> There's a little bit going on here. All right, give me all these. I'm right, going to be overweight here in a second, too. All right. Yep, we got a ton of it. We'll take the dung as well. We'll give that to the dung beetle. I'm sure little dude wants a little something to munch on. Make up some fertilizer. We good in here? Nope, we still got some more over there. A very good stock, at least, of it. Wait. What did you kill? Interesting. That's... Oh, I don't have anything to... I'll tell you what, let me... I don't think any of these guys have a saddle. They don't. I was going to go ahead and munch on them. Oh, dude, yeah. <laughs> we got plenty of eggs for kibble. All right, we're overweight, but it's fine. Start hitting back up. So what we're going to do with all the teams down here... All the ones that we changed over with the mutator, I'm going to just get rid of. I don't want to deal with it. That's kind of the whole reason of us being over on Genesis 1. To grab a bunch of those things so we don't have to don't have to use the mutator anymore. So we'll keep our original basils. I'll try to figure out which one was the original Moza. Which I don't know. We can probably get rid of that too. Seeing how we have the ones for the X version we'll be taming. So that's kind of my plan with those. Let's leave you here. So I need to make sure I don't mix in... Okay, they're down there separate. These I'm going to keep separate because we can't do anything with them. I don't have a recipe for it. And these are also used for our food. Well, maybe we can use those for kibble. Let's check on the dung beetle first. What's up, Junior? Yep, you are empty. There you go. A little bit of food and on. Let's get rid of those. I'll probably go ahead and make some of our food first. Well, we got plenty of food. Do we have any prime meat in here? We do. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of this. 
That's all that we need, right? It is. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen and twenty. There we go. A full stack. And then we use the rest of the eggs for making kibble. Hopefully. I'm hoping we got enough stuff for everything. I know we gotta make some chowder. And go from there. We should have plenty of honey. Oh, we do. That is full. Alright, so let's start on... This. Let's go ahead and make up... Can we do 30? We can. Awesome. So that'll start with that. And I know we got more than 30 eggs, but I want to make sure we got enough of all the extra stuff before we go... Crafting all of the... <laughs> all the chowder. Then not have the stuff to make all of the extra kibble, too. That's a ton of eggs, man. Let's leave some of these in here. I want to use these three for sure. Like I said, I can't use those on anything else, so let's take a couple of these out for right now. So we're missing some honey, and what else? The Lazarus Chowder, okay. So not much on the honey, so we can make quite a few of these. Did that pull all of the honey? It didn't. Thought I said we didn't have enough. Might just be the Lazarus Chowder we're waiting on. There's eight kibble. All right, that's still going. That's still going. We'll give that a few minutes. Let's, uh, we'll take the bird back up, and we can take the elevator back down. So that has that kind of going. That's a couple more for us. I need to really pay attention to how much stuff eats so we don't use more than we need to, you know? Kind of had that problem a little bit, especially with the Dunkle. I gave it four, and it only ate one to get tamed, so we lost three of them in there. All right. Next order of business. I'll be taking you. Right, so we need one intake, not 30. And then, how many of the storage we're gonna need? So we need one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna need one for congeal gas, so it'll be six. Hide will be seven. Let's just do, let's see, can we do 10? We can do 10. We do 20. We can't. 15? Polymer? I can make polymer. That's not a big deal. Let's let th these finish up. And then we'll make some of the polymer and stuff. And let's see about doing an industrial cooker too. This isn't a necessity. We can always use a cooking pot. And that's going to be polymer too. You know what? It might be quicker to make that in this. Oh, if I can make 500? Oh, we can. Well, then. Make up all of those. That'll give us enough to do the... We'll do the cooking pot first. The industrial cooker. And then we'll do however many more of the... The storage. I can always take some of these, too. And replace them later. One, two, three, four, five, six... We could take five of those. Along with these ten. Let's do that. Let's do that. Where's my multi-tool? There we go. Make sure it's not on. <laughs> Destroy. Cool, so that's 15. That should be enough for all the basic stuff around there. Right? And that'll be kind of uh kind of set on that without spending too much on resources, because I do need to come over here and do quite a bit of farming. And I want to take the basil with us. Or the basilisk. Where is that at? Extra teams, good teams. Those are the reapers. Oh, right here. 
I wonder why it wasn't coming up. So we'll take... Where's the red one? This one. Ah, I like the way that one looks. We'll take that one over with us. That's good for stone and all kinds of other stuff. We'll see what we can do with using that for some resource harvesting. That's going to be kind of heavy, isn't it? All right, let's go up and throw these up into the transmitter. Get those ready for taking back over. All right, so there's those. And that's making up all the polymer. What's that extra sheets for? I don't know. All right, and there's the cooker. I think that's all we need, right? We're not going to make any more of the... the storage things. I think that's what all these were for. Ooh, there's a little bit of lag there. All right, let's throw these into here. Did I move it? I did. <laughs> we haven't been here long enough for me to remember where stuff is. Where's the intake? Here it is. Kind of blends in. All right, let's pick you back up. We're done crafting. And then all we got left is to go down and get some more... Let's take the elevator down. Get some of the kibble. We should be set. How are you guys doing? We got 13. And that's going to make four more, and then we're kind of done. That's fine, that's fine. I mean, we'll just deal with whatever we got, right? I don't know what we're missing. What did it say? Honey chowder. Go ahead and make up ten more of these if we can. And we're going to be short on honey, too. But I mean, that's fine. It's not a big deal. That'll give us about 18 more. I'll have to check upstairs. We might have some more we can grab out. Okay, well, let's just call this like it is. It's good enough. All right. Throw all of you back in here. Save you for later. We will be coming back here fairly soon, so... Nice. Makes life so much easier. Kibble? No kibble. We will take another stack of these just in case, man. Oh, dude, it's been, uh, been some problems over there. All right, we're set. Don't ask why I'm keeping Al throw up in the refrigerator. It's for science. <laughs> it stores it good for a while. All right, so we got everything. Oh, wait, where's... Oh, that's what we're missing. The intake. I wonder why I didn't craft it. That was almost a horrible thing. We were getting ready to leave. Metal ingots. Now we're missing metal ingots. Boy, I tell you what, 571. All right, I'm going to wait for this to craft up. Or, uh, smelt up. I know there's some in there. And then I'll make that, and I will see you back on Genesis. We'll get all this stuff set out and set up. We need to run a little bit of water for the cooker. And then just try to figure out if we want to put those storage in the floor or up in the ceiling. And that should be good then, man. So I'll see you back in a little bit. Alright. I almost forgot it. But I did bring a bed. So we don't have to spawn back over here anymore. <laughs> we'll be able to actually spawn at our base in the lunar biome. I did stop by Gen 2 before I came back here. I wanted to grab our other tech bow. That way we don't have to use so many shards whenever we go to use it for underwater taming and stuff. Grab all of our gear out of here real quick. Definitely need those. I think that should be it. Go ahead and make a folder. We're probably going to need that today. And those. And probably that. <laughs> Pretty much everything. Alright, let's see what we have. So I did remember to get a sleeping pod. I grabbed one of the ones that I already had made on the way out. I actually almost forgot it. 
But here's our bow. So I have a 688% one, and then the 286. This one should be kind of feel more in line with not being too overpowered. The 688 is just, it's ridiculous how fast it knocks stuff out. And that, I just didn't want to run back down to get rid of it. So this is all of our stuff. We should be good. Oh, dude, we are walking so slow. Let's drop off the food, and then we'll put the, the storage in here. That stuff is so heavy, man. We'll deal with that in a minute. Let's get our cooking pot set up, and then the bed. Throw you in there, and let's put this stuff in here. And throw you over here. So, first things first. Let's put this out. So, right over here by the window. And then, like, a nice nap and looking out the window there. Wait a minute, what is... Is that the feeding trough? Why is that showing the... The border, it is an S plus one, right? I don't know. I'll just turn it off. All right. Next order of business. Cooking pot. Where are we going to put it? We could move the smithy and put it right there because we have water right here. That might be the smart thing to do. This we can kind of set up everywhere or er, anywhere. Drop those for the moment. Maybe we'll just put it right here. Still kind of out of the way, you know? Let's grab these before they disappear. Dude, I would be so sad. <laughs> I don't have enough stuff to make any more. All right, let's get this set down. There we go. I might need to move this up a little bit. I mean, we can still reach it. It's fine, it's fine. And this we need to get... Probably just a flex piece should be fine. Oh wait, I think I have some already made. So that, and I think this... Let's see if this will connect directly to it. I don't think so. I can't remember if that goes to it. It doesn't. It does. It doesn't. Are we not irrigated or are we irrigated? You got me confused. It is. So all we gotta do is hide this now. And I might move this up here. Is that too tall? No, that's fine. A little easier to get to than this one. And we can go ahead and just hide this one for right now. Awesome. So that'll let me make up uh, quite a bit of stuff. Next order of business in the last one. What do we want to do with storage? I know where the intake's going. The intake's... Did I not turn that off? Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> We're going to be putting this out here. Right there in the corner should be fine. And I don't think we need to do anything with this. The range, we'll leave it on max. We could do the large size here, you know, since we have so much room. I tell you what, that is crazy how big that thing gets. All right. I want to see if we can put them down in the floor. I don't know if it's going to be possible. We're definitely going to try. Let's see how big they are. One, two, three, four. It is. Fantastic. We'll probably put them right here. Oh, we can't. Interesting. I thought we'd be able to clip them on. What if I... That's not going to work at all like I thought. And it's not going to clip in there either. We'll have to stack them from the floor up. Let's start it off right there. So we don't have very many, so that's the good thing. I 
Probably just need to build some scaffolding. But we'll do it right over the fridge. Oh, a little bit higher than I thought. <laughs> I keep forgetting the low gravity, man. It is so low. Oh, is that all of the ones I got on me? It is. Let's grab the other ones real quick. I think it's funny. I can only pick up a couple of these at a time. But then I can carry a whole refrigerator with no problem. I'm just saying, that's that's arc physics for you. This will kind of make it easy to see him too, right? All right, how many we got left? We got five. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. I could have moved that over some. Maybe I'll do that. That way we can have all three there, and that'll be the full stack. That's really easy to see when we come in. See our full, full stock on resources. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That, that'll be fine. 15 is going to be plenty. All right, let me get these kind of moved around a little bit, and then we'll go ahead and start moving some of that stuff up. Get the resource kind set. I'm going to have to build some scaffolding. I got plenty of stuff in here for it. I need to just do that now. A couple pillars. Let's leave those in there for now, and then a couple of these. And that should be fine. I don't need any stairs. I mean, we got plenty of, uh, <laughs> plenty of bounce. There we go. Now we can freely do this without having any problems. That went a lot easier than I thought. All I did was set the other refrigerator down, transferred everything over, and then got this line up in the middle. That up to the ceiling. Like I said, we can always make some more of these if we get more resources. We'll kind of see how many we need. That way we don't have too many for no reason. Oh, I need to leave that. I was getting ready to pick those up. I need to leave that so I can set our types and everything. Is that going to be one, two, three, four, five? Yeah, we should be able to put all five down here. I'm going to say that might not be enough room. Nice, man. Nice. Just the perfect height. Then we'll set you... Right here, if I can get you lined up right. Should be good. Make sure it's not sticking out. Fantastic. All that back over there. We really only need one of these here. I don't know. We'll keep both just in case. Oh, man, that's like the perfect height, too. All right, cool. So all I got to do now is go through and set all these to that stuff. Then we'll start the transfer. I'll probably get out the Ravager, transfer as much as I can from that into him, and just run him over to the intake and kind of make it a little bit easier that way. Nice. So we got three left on the bottom. I'm not too sure what I want to put in them. Let's get everything out that we can for right now and see where we're at in life. I think the only thing I'm really missing... Oh, hide. I need to make one for hide. Not really worried about sulfur, but I guess we could do one for sulfur and blue gems. So hide... Sulfur. Oh, we don't need the sulfur, really. We'll do it for right now. We can always get rid of it. I don't know. I picked it up. Don't really need it. Could do the angler gel. I did do one for black pearls, though. This is going to be kind of a black pearl map, I think. There's a, quite a few places down in there we can get it from. Down in the volcano. A lot of people left me comments on where to find it. Oh, I should do one for crystal. That's what it is. We'll get rid of the sulfur and do crystal. Need to empty this into him real quick. Hello? There we go. How do I... Where's the one to clear it? Oh, here we go. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna get all this stuff moved over, and then we'll kind of see what it looks like and what we have left on resources. 
So I'm making a lot of trips with the Ravager. I think what I might do is throw out the snake. I don't know if he can fit in and out of the door. I think he can. That might be able to make this go a little bit faster because he's got like 3,000 on his carry weight versus the Ravagers. I'm hoping I can use him and the Anki in tandem for harvesting. That's kind of my kind of my thinking. Let's turn him around the proper direction. Holy crap, he's massive. Oh, he can't fit out. Okay, okay, okay. It's a little big for in here. Yep, we're, we're glitching some. <laughs> oh, dude. All right, let's grab this. Transfer you. Wait. You overweight? You're not. Interesting. He has a ton of points, though. So let's head over. See how much stuff it'll transfer. I got it set up to where you can just touch it with the, the creature. We're, we're stuck. We're, we're not going to make it. Oh, dude, we are so close to that thing. All right, so the snake is a little too big to have in our base. Let's move the, <laughs> move the intake a little bit. Where's the pickup? There we go. All right, buddy, let me get this a little bit closer. You know, I keep forgetting. I could have done this right next to the the post or the uh, the bench and made life a little bit easier. All right, can you transfer everything? This this is this is a disaster, dude. Your your tail's all glitching out. We're gonna get stuck in the world. Is it is it not gonna work? I can't bury here. I, I I wasn't trying to. Why are you making noises? What is going on here? There we go. It transferred. Holy crap, dude! You are going back into a soul trap. Wait, actually, you can't because you have stuff on you. You do. So the only thing that didn't really transfer. Do I have one set up for stone? How did I miss stone? I did though. So I need to go ahead and get rid of maybe the charcoal. I could get rid of the fungal wood. So that works, so electronics is something else we can make one for later on. Go ahead and just take everything from you. Everything into you. That works, that works. I'm happy with that. Alright, let's get you out of here, buddy. You 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 definitely cannot live in there. However, I do want to see how he does out here. Oh, we are sliding. Man, he is so massive, though. Let's grab our radiation suit before we go. I just want to see how he works out. Put this back where we're supposed to go. There we go. Safety first, man. <laughs> All right. Let's see how snakes in space do. That's a terrifying thing there, man. Snakes are kind of freaky as it is, let alone in space. So he burrows. I'm kind of worried about what happens if we go airborne. I don't know, maybe he's going to be really good because he doesn't go airborne. Let's go off the side here, see what happens. Oh, he gets sucked back down to the ground. This might be the perfect team for the lunar biome. I mean, when you're on the flat ground, right? Of course, it's not going to work whenever we want to go, like, over there. Yep. Uh-huh. How'd that work out? Oh, we're protected too, right? So we have the hazmat suit on? Oh, we are! We're going to take a little bit of damage, I think. But other than that, that's not too bad. Oh, dude. This will make life so much easier. Whenever I'm out here resource harvesting. Let's try to... Try to kill this guy real quick. There's a Rex over by base. I need to figure out what I want to put points into on this guy. Did you, did you not die? You didn't get the memo? Snake's in space, man. I'm just saying. Yep. That's what you get. One last quick test. I want to see if he gets any reduction on metal, congealed gas, or element. I hear you. So, 0 0.7? 0 0.7. He does on that a lot. 5 and 5. 5 and 5. 
Okay, okay, okay. Look, look. I, I, you weren't invited to the party? I don't have any points into this guy either. Man, they are knocking me back like crazy. It's all right. Got some gas for you. I definitely need to get some points into his damage if I'm going to have him out. Because we are losing health pretty fast. It's not like we can turn around very fast either. <gasps> he broke part of our hazmat suit! Dude, that thing is expensive, man! Okay, okay, yep. Alright, so that's not gonna work out too well. Go back to base. Before something else bad happens. Where is base? Dude, where's base at? This way. Got everything in the world on us, too. Including the sun. I didn't really think we went that far. Probably because we were trying to four-wheel drive over everything. It is super easy with him getting around, though. Not getting flung into the air because you, I mean, you don't really jump with the snake, right? Let's see if we can get his whole tail and everything in here. Yep, he should be good. Put you on passive. You alright, buddy? You'll be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> well, kind of a weird day today, man. We had a lot of little stuff I wanted to do, and I didn't want to exactly do it off camera. I wanted to bring you guys with me. So we got our cooking pot set up. We've got some storage set up. I think that's enough right now. That should work out. We got the snake here, which should work pretty good about getting some element shards. We got our new tech bow, and we got a sleeping pot here. So we got quite a bit of stuff done today, man. Not too bad. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.